Hey everybody, I'm Oakley at Oakley Does Everything, and today we're going to take these materials and turn them into this baby xylophone toy. Stay tuned. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut the tops off of these just to get it nice and flush and square. I'm going to use my miter saw. If you have a piece of wood similar to this that you're repurposing, you know, you can use a hand saw, whatever you want. Just make sure you get a nice flat, square piece. For the pieces of wood that I'm working on, I'm going to go ahead and just clean up the edges that I just sawed off just to give it a nice round curve to it because again, a baby's going to be playing with this. You don't want them to accidentally catch anything. And also, I'm going to go ahead and sand the finish off of these uh, and then put a more natural finish on. I have no idea what kind of finish is on these right now, but we will sand it off and put some natural oil on it. All right, we have our pieces of wood sanded. I will go back later and sand this a little bit finer than what I just did. I believe I just sanded that with a 120 belt, but we'll smoothen it up a bit more a little later. So I only need two of these for right now because we're gonna go ahead and work on the placement of where our chimes are gonna go, or our bells are gonna go. What I'm gonna be doing is a C major scale. So I have C through C, and this is the lower octave rather than the higher octave. And the reason I'm doing that is because I want there to be more area for the baby to be able to hit. So with smaller keys like these, you can see the difference in the size. With the larger keys, they're gonna be able to, to hit this a lot easier than they would if they were just using smaller notes. Now you could just do five notes, C, D, E, F, G, that's mostly what baby toys consist of, but I'm gonna do the full octave and we should be fine to do this, All right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna draw a center line on my straight piece. I'll just scribe it on with my calipers. Doesn't have to be perfect, but you know, closer is better. I guess we're gonna put these back on and we'll just use uh, you know, a piece of cardboard as a spacer to just kind of keep it even throughout. That ended up being perfect. Look at that, that's great. All right, so now I am just gonna take my Sharpie and place a dot in the center. If the wood that you're using is so hard, you need to do pilot holes, which, you know what, just do pilot holes anyways, it'll be better for you in the long haul. Just make sure that the drill bit you're using is a little bit narrower than the width of your screw. So I've already figured out what that one is for mine. You could just use a drill, drill into it if you want. I'm, I have a drill press, so I'm gonna use it. So I'll go put this drill bit in there and drill these holes out. So we have our holes drilled, and now we're going to go ahead and use our refrigerator hose. So this is our refrigerator hose. It is 5 16th inch plastic tubing. It doesn't have to be 5 16th, but you just want it to be a little bit larger than the hole on the bottom side of it, because this is going to be lifting it up off of the wood. And also you want it to, the inside to be a little bit wider than what your screw is, so that way the screw can go in through it and past it. We're gonna go ahead and cut eight of these about no, roughly quarter inch long. Uh, you don't need them to be very long, just enough to give it a little lift. And real fast while I'm doing this, I just wanna say thank you guys for watching this video. Also, if you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. It would mean a lot to me. And I know a lot of you guys watch these videos without subscribing anyhow, so just take a second, click that button right in the middle there, and that would go a long way for me. If you're already subscribed to the channel, thank you so very much, I appreciate it. At the recording of this video, we just crossed 100, so thank you guys so very much for that. 250 is my next milestone, I think I'm gonna be doing a giveaway for that. Make sure to subscribe, that way you don't miss out on your chance to do that. I don't know what it's gonna be yet, but just know that it'll be cool for sure. 
Okay, so we are now going to assemble the top part. So we're going to put our keys on with our spacers and our screws. We'll set our diagonal piece down there just to get a good placement for it to keep these elevated and make it a little easier for us. Again, we're, we have our piece of wood with the holes drilled out. We're going to place our spacer and then our bar with the top of it. And once you get that where you want it, you're going to go ahead and screw it in. And when you do screw it in, you don't want to screw it all the way down. You want it to be a little bit loose in there. Again, because if you do screw it all the way in, it's not going to ring as well as it should. So we just want it to be, have a little bit of give there. I'll put my cloth underneath of it. What kind of sound we get? Oh yeah, that sounds nice. And then you would do that for all eight of them. So we have our bars situated in the correct dimension. Now what we need to do is we actually need to go ahead and true the structure up. So we have some more scrap that's going to go perpendicular to our two cross pieces and that'll just give us a square box. And I think I want it to be on the inside, like around here or so, uh, not sticking out on the side. So I'm going to take a couple minutes to figure out how I want to do that and then we'll go ahead and secure them in place. So I finished setting up a frame for this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take my bars back off. I'm going to polish them. I'm going to glue the frame together. Mm, I don't think I'm going to put any nails in it. We'll see how it holds up just with glue. Put a coat of finish on it, probably shellac or um, just a natural oil of some kind. I think I changed my mind. I am going to put wood screws in here. I'll do some pilot holes, drill it in, Two on each side, sand it level, and then we'll be good. All right, so to put a finish on it, we're just going to use some shellac for the frame. All right, so if you didn't notice in other clips, our bars are actually pretty grimy. So we're gonna go ahead and take these over to the polishing wheel and just buff them up real nice. That way we're gonna give it a nice shine to it and they can be clean and yeah, baby safe. The last thing we need to do before reassembly is we actually need a piece of felt to go on the opposite end of our screws. And the reason that is, is because if the bars are resting right on the wood, it's not gonna ring very well. So we need felt, and that's going to allow it to give a nice ring to it. And our adhesion of choice will be rubber cement. So rubber cement on the wood, rubber cement on the strip of our felt, and then we just lay it down and then we'll reassemble.
you so much for watching. I very much appreciate it. If you're interested in seeing more content about repurposing materials, check out this playlist over here. If you're new to the channel and haven't done so yet, please hit that subscribe button right here in the middle. Other than that, have a great day. I'll see you on the next build. Bye.